up everybody what's up everybody how's everybody doing today welcome to another episode of the gas station podcast this is legacy legacy moves trying to get it right man trying to get it right for y'all yes sir how's everybody hey before we get started man make sure y'all get those likes up y'all hit that like button don't no cost you nothing it's free you know what i'm saying you know and it helps the channel. If you support the channel, you like the channel, if you like what I'm doing, get those likes up, man. Support me by getting the likes up so I can constantly keep coming with this good content. Um, if you ain't subscribed, subscribe to the, to the uh, channel. And also hit that notification bell so y'all can get more likes, man. I got my hat on, man. And, you know, it's late, a little late night action, but... I ain't got my hat on because I'm going somewhere. But I like my hats anyway. I'm a hat man. But I got my hat on because I ain't cut my hair, man. I'm, my hair's wild and wild, wilding out today, man. I've been uh, I've been traveling. I just got back from Detroit, so I uh, ain't had a chance to trim up, cut up, and get myself together. Didn't have a chance to get myself together, man. But I'm back. Back in the gas station, I've been going and going and going. I was gonna hit the beat. I was gonna blog a little bit, but I said, ah, you know, I was just trying to take care of my business so I could get on back to Atlanta. Yeah. So how's everybody doing, man? Y'all been getting your three W's, man. Hey, you been getting your three W's, man. I like the support. I like how we been rocking, man. Every time I post a video, man, I'm doing a thousand views, man. I appreciate y'all. I mean, you know, it's humble beginners, humble beginners, man. But you know, it might not seem like much to some people, but man, I'm I'm appreciative, and you know, and and I thank y'all for, you know, supporting, watching, uh, your due diligence and your response, and and people telling me how much they enjoying the the, the uh, you know, what we talk about, what we talk about, man, you yeah. know. Make sure you get your three W's. You know, I got to always start off with them three W's, man. The, your, your word, your wisdom, your workout. Getting your 30 minutes word, getting your 30 minutes wisdom, getting your 30 minutes workout. Every day, man, it's a must. It's a, it's a must. You know, hey, every day you got to put your arm on. You got to put something on to help feed that spirit, to help feed that body, help feed that mind every day, man. You know, you are your biggest weapon. And if you don't take care of it, if you don't feed it, if you don't train it, hey, don't 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 be bitching and complaining at nobody else because your results are a piece of shit. Don't 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 be bitching at nobody else because your results ain't what you want them to be, or you're not seeing progress. I mean, everybody ain't made it there yet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't made it there yet. You know what I'm saying? But I am working every day towards my goals. I am progressing. I do see progress every day. That's what motivates me to go because I do my three W's. I wake up, I make my bed, if I start my day off, I practice at home what I want in the streets. I'm not a shitty man at home. I don't not take care of my shit, but when I hit the streets, I'm all this and that and want to take care of this and that. No, 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 no. I take care of stuff at home. I practice making sure I take care of stuff at home first. And then I hit the streets, you know going to the place of business, do whatever I'm going to do. You understand me? You know. So take care of your home, man. Take care of yourself. Take care of your castle, man. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your castle. You ain't got but one castle, man. It's late, man. It's about 12 o'clock. I had to get it in. You ain't got but one castle, and you are responsible for it. You are responsible for it. You can't blame nobody else for it. Man, it's super Tuesday, man. It's super Tuesday, man. It look like well, we already knew the two candidates. You know, we already knew the two candidates. We had Biden. President Biden, I'm no disrespect to him. President Biden, I don't have a problem with President Biden, you know. Uh, and you had Donald Trump, you know. No disrespect to Trump, you know. I like Donald Trump. I'm not like y'all. I like Trump. I like Trump because we made a lot of money when Trump was in office. Despite what some of these big time rappers and some of these folks that already had tons of money that they did they, they, they had no respect for Trump, you know. That's they that's they vision, that's they their uh uh their point of view, that's their opinion. I like Trump and I also like Biden. 
I like things that I like. I, in fact, ain't no president personally. I ain't got no big problem with. I made a lot of money when Clinton was in office. Yeah, I made a. Uh, I, I, Made a lot of money when Bush was in office. I made a lot of money when Reagan was in office. Before that, I was a kid, so I, I, I you know, and my mom and him liked uh, the Jimmy Carter, you know. So you know, so I was trained to like Jimmy Carter, and then when I, then Jimmy Carter, I understand why they like Jimmy Carter because Jimmy Carter, uh, he never stopped doing philanthropy his entire life. He didn't do nothing but give back to the people. I love Jimmy Carter. He's one of my favorite too. And you know, you know, I, yeah, 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 you know, a lot of your brothers know what what it is. You know what I'm saying? We made money through the pandemic. We made money. You know, Shoot. you know. I mean, some of the brothers may say different. Some of the brothers may think that he's a racist. This, that, and other. That's man. Think what you want. But I made some money with Trump in office, man, and I enjoyed it. I made crypto money. I made damn near half a million dollars in crypto. You understand me? And I made when when the Dogecoin ran up, I would have made I would have made a whole lot of money. I would have made two million dollars. Because I had over two million Dogecoin. But I started selling them. And I end up but I end up when the when the when the Doge ran back then, I had three hundred thousand coins. Yeah, then I also hit big with Shiba Inu. I had like $15,000 worth of Shiba Inu and ran that up to another 200000 You know, I did all this doing Trump, doing the Trump era, man. You know, now they, I ain't even going to talk about the stock market. I, I've, been, I've been pushing the play in the stock market forever. I still make money in that, but guess what? When Biden was in office, you know, all, none of this stuff had any fruit. Well, very little fruit, you know. You know, so you just had to let it let it ride, you know. But you know that that's it on there. But guess what? I was a lucky recipient with Biden, with one of these beautiful Venezuelans. Yeah, I was a lucky recipient for one of these beautiful beautiful Venezuelans to come across across the border, man. <laughs> so you know they talk about all the immigrants coming across the border, this and that, you know. Hey, once again, some people like it, some people don't. I got me a beautiful woman that works, takes care of the house. You understand me? That that works cohesively. That uh, that uh, that we have a beautiful son together. You know, and and she is uh, she she's a woman's woman. She's not a uh feminist. She's not in here trying to run the house and tell me what to do or. You know, she takes care of us, and she's a real woman, man. And that's and when when a man, especially my age, you know, I need somebody who is cooperative. And I ain't talking about no yes woman or nothing like that. I'm talking about a actual person who is is interdependent, who's independent, and I'm independent, and we work interdependently together. We work as a team. So I'm blessed and lucky. Uh, my future wife is Venezuelan, and she's uh, and and uh, and we've been together for a couple of years, and we like I said, we've had a son, a beautiful son. He was on the show the other day, and uh, I was blessed from the entry of the Venezuelans uh, that that that, that uh, Biden has let in the country, and I had already been going out the country all the time, you know, when I was single, so going to different countries, man plan so you know that's that's just what i did you know so it, it it fit me it brought what i enjoy what i like what uh as far as a relationship wise as far as how a woman treats you because you know uh right here to my doorstep so you know i'll salute biden too man i i ain't got no issues with biden i ain't got i mean some people might got some issues with you know Cause my life ain't all revolved around. I mean, I like making money. I've been making money all my life, but money doesn't make me happy. Money is a tool, and I'm a carpenter. Money is a hammer, and I'm a carpenter. So I make beautiful things with money. You understand me? But money is not my. But but I'm not a. 
I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't love the hammer more than the carpenter. I don't love the money more than the person. You understand me? I'm not so in love with money that uh, that that I'm willing to jeopardize everything like I did at one point in my life. So, yeah, money is a money is a tool, man. Part of my toolbox, and if you know how to use money, if you know how to work money, if you know how to work that hammer, metaphorically, you can build beautiful homes. You can build a lot of good, great things. You understand? Edifice, edifice. That's a Spanish word for buildings. You can build with it, and so the money that you make, you should be building with it, not spending it up, consumer giving it right back to the man. And then upset with him when you give it right back to him. You know, you got to be able to manage your money. You got to be wise with your money. And your money is a tool, is a current. And I don't believe, let me just go a little I'm really, I'm going on a tangent, but I don't believe in a lot of things a lot of other people believe in. I believe in investing over saving save a little bit, but I like investing my money. I like my money constantly working for me. That's why it's called a currency. Currency. Because it's got to be moving. If it's sitting, it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't producing. So I always got my money producing, you know, and working. And that's what I like. I like like I told you, I'm working physically. I'm selling some all the time. I'm creating residuals and I'm creating royalties. And so I always remember, keep your four rivers, man. Keep your four rivers. Now, let me tell y'all something. Now, what, what, this is Super Tuesday, man, Super Tuesday. And I wanted to talk about Super Tuesday. And I want to talk about how everybody, all this division amongst the people. I want to talk about how we hate this president. We hate that president. We hate Biden. You know, we hate Sleepy Joe and... We hate Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump, man. Why? Why? Most of us have never met these folks. And second of all, most of these folks are making policy so high up the trough that by the time it gets down to us, we don't even see it. And most of us are cattle, and we don't even know what policies or in place because we don't even do our due diligence to know what they put in, put in, they implemented and what they didn't implement. We just upset and we think somebody doing us wrong or we catch some little little small captions or whatever. And and, and uh, then we want to, um, hold on right quick y'all, give me two seconds. Yeah, then we want to, um, you know, we put so much emphasis, man, you know, the, 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 the Fanny Willis and the, and the Leticia, I want to say, it wasn't that Leticia James or whatever, Leticia, you know, the judge in New York, man, sisters, man, sisters, man. Mm, mm, mm. You know, this is a pure example of how we should pick our battles wisely. These sisters should know, should know that they are going to be coming after these folks with their uh they, they, with, with everything they got, every piece of power, every piece of politics that these folks got. Then more than likely, Donald Trump is going to be the president of the United States. Let's just be honest, he's not running. I mean, you know, 
And I like, I like, I like about Joe Biden. Like I told you, man. Shit, man. I benefit from them all. You know. I benefit from them all. You know, some policies I might like, some policies I might not like. You understand me? But ultimately, you know, God puts them in place. So, you know, some things are designed to make us better, make us stronger. Some of these things that they that they put in there, we we might might not understand that we may need. And some things he may be putting in place uh, by that we may not understand that we may need. So, you know, I don't take nothing from all. You know, I, it's going to be good and bad on both sides, you know. So it doesn't even it doesn't even matter, you know. You know, but I look at the family because I'm in Atlanta, man. I look at Fanny Willis and Letitia Jam. I don't know much about her up in New York, but, you know, and I've made a couple shows on Fanny, you know, you know. But look how, look at what we do to ourselves, man. Look at what we do to ourselves, man. Look at how we, you know, she trying to do the young thug trial. Why? She tried, she, she just prosecuted, she prosecuted all of those teachers in public school. They teach our children. They put some of them in prison. Why? Man, you know, if they, uh, you know, if wanna prosecute trying to prosecute Donald Trump and nineteen high power lawyers. Why? As many crooked cops we have in our neighborhoods that you can that you can that you can uh investigate. You know how many crooked cops in, in, in the Atlanta metro area that you can investigate? If you just want to hit some stuff like that? You know. Crime. Local crime. You know. You go all the way up to Donald Trump. We got all this local crime around Atlanta. Stuff folk doing, man. Crooked police. Crooked DAs in your office. We already see it's crooked DAs in your office. <laughs> we ain't see that it's crooked DAs in your office. But I already know if they ask you, is there any crooked DAs in your office? I can't recall. That's what you're going to tell me. I can't recall. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't recall. I don't know if there ain't no crooked DAs in my, in my office. Yeah. Unfortunately. And, you know, I'm being funny, trying to be entertaining for YouTube. But unfortunately, man. We got grassroots. We got groundwork to do. We got local politicians that need help. How many of y'all even know your local politicians' names, your city councilmen, who can actually help you? Your mayor. Your elected officials locally. In your districts. A lot of them is the one that y'all should really be uh, attacking. Because guess what? Those are the ones who have the reach to the presidency. Those are the ones who sit in an equal branch of the presidency. It's called the legislative branch. See, I know all three branches of government. And I know we work on the equal, three equal branches of government. And I know the legislative branch had just as much as the executive branch and the executive branch had just as much as the judicial branch. All three of them are checks and balances. And so with that being said, 
What they doing way up there. You can touch them way down here. Not by bitching and arguing and fighting and fuck Trump. He's just such a racist. We want to we want to fight, fuss, and puff about it. But guess what? We got a lot of local, municipal, state, where we can be effective right here in our communities. Where we can be effective. Hold on, y'all. Where it matters. And we can hold our local representatives, our senators, our senators, our local districts accountable for when they go to Congress. But guess what? We don't even know who's in our who's in our district. We don't know who's running. We don't even know our representatives, our House of Representatives in our state. We don't know who our senators in our state. And we wonder why they pay no mind to all of the chatter in the presidency. Because we're missing steps. Like I tell my son all the time, we're missing steps. We're missing steps, baby. Super twos to me. Let's start, let's stop the hating and start the loving, man. Let's stop hating on Trump or hating on Biden. You understand me? Let's, 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 let's start, let's, let's, let's start focusing on where we can be the most effective with our time, with our resources. That's locally. That's holding your local officials accountable. Because guess what? Tell a lot of y'all that don't know a secret. It ain't Trump. I mean, you know, Trump had the power of the veto or to sign in the law, but it ain't Trump introducing these laws. <clears throat> It's these local representatives that who are introducing these laws in your community. I don't give a fuck where you at in this world. In your community, your local representatives introduce the bills. See, let me uh, quickly educate a lot of you understand me because a lot of us don't know, but I'm a quickly educator. See, you in 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 the in, in in the legislative branch, you have two houses. You had a house of representatives, and you had the Senate. The House is where they introduce new legislation. So, what you want to get passed? What you want to get done comes from your local and your district representatives in the House of Representatives. They have to write and introduce the bills to Congress that support your plight or support your community or support what our agenda, whatever it may be. And see, with us black folks, we don't do nothing but bitch and complain. We're not paying no representatives to put our legislation in, in office like a lot of these folks is. A lot of these communities are paying these legislators, these, uh, these representatives to introduce their bill, introduce their legislation through lobbying and amongst other things, pad and pocket. 
campaign funding, political influence, loans that folks don't deserve, you know, grants. We can keep it put. We can keep it going. Now, how we doing? Bitching, whining, and crying. All the way up here to the president. That by the time he signs in or vetoes something, is long after. Your local representative either introduced something, voted on something, or didn't vote on something, or filibustered something. And I can keep going on and 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 on. So our emphasis on the presidency starts locally. How many of y'all have sat down, do you know your local representative, or sat down with your local representative and asked him, what are you doing for this community? How are you really bringing skills and jobs in this community? How are you introducing legislation that's gonna help this community? How are you curbing violence in this community? How are you helping us to not have to be violent, have to steal, have to rob, have to sell no drugs by bringing in skills, jobs, schools that will actually benefit us as a community? Black Wall Street, baby. We just talk. We just having a conversation here, you know. Let's stop hating, or putting our emphasis, or making time wasting decisions. That's a good word for it. time wasting decisions, time wasting debates, debating on Trump. On Biden, I don't even listen to these kind of when because the first thing I ask you when you tell me you don't like Trump or you don't like Biden, the first thing I ask you is who is your local representative? Who represents you in your community? Let's start there. What's he doing? What policy has he in play, put in place? I don't give a damn if it's Biden or Trump. If you're not familiar with going in your own in your own community, how can you organize and 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 have all these great ideas for the world? So saying, if you can't manage five dollars, how you gonna manage a hundred? How you gonna manage a thousand? How you gonna manage? Ten thousand. How you gonna manage a million? You think, well, if I had more, I manage it better. Now, if you had more, you gonna spend more. You're not gonna have more and manage it better because your managing skills, no matter how much you have, is the same. You learn how to manage with less because less is easier. You start locally. You learn about the politics that's going on here. Then you build yourself up. How much skin you got in the game? Well, anybody's even willing to pay attention to you besides your one vote, even if you vote or not. How much have you invested in the community? How much have you invested in your local? How much have you invested in campaigns? How much have you 
grouped up and went to any civic meetings. Divorce your complaint. If you ain't never been to no civic meeting, if you never been to any municipal conferences, if you ain't never been to any gatherings other than church or concerts, I mean, who's really going to take you serious? That's the reason why the politicians got to go to the churches to speak because they know y'all ain't going to no real meetings to listen to them. Y'all ain't going to no conventions to hear what they got going on. Y'all might watch a little something, something on TV where they can edit it and make the narrative what the what whoever the TV station is wants the narrative to be. Because they commentators are going to commentate like they want them to commentate. Go and listen for yourself. See, one thing we know for a fact, who's there? The white folks is always there. Them white folks is always there. We got to be there. We got to know what's going on, man. It's Super Tuesday, man. It's Super Tuesday, man. You understand me? You know. It's Super Tuesday. What are we going to do on Super Tuesday? You understand me? Are we going out bitching and complaining about Donald Trump? We going out bitching and complaining about uh, uh, Joe Biden? Or are we going to actually be effective? See, everybody wants these grandiose ideas, but are not effective. Everybody wants to bitch and complain. Social media it makes the bitching and complaining louder. But are we really effective? Are we really making a difference? Are we really doing anything that uh, somebody has a ear to listen to? Do y'all have an ear to listen when somebody is bitching at you? Or do you just block that shit off? Because it ain't nothing but noise. I'm focusing on the people that actually, we doing business. Are you listening to the chatter, the noise? Or are you actually going to spend your energy and your time with people we doing business? See, the thing about us as people, we'll be part of the business if we choose to be. But we don't choose to be part of the business. We just choose to bitch and complain and blame. And we're missing a lot of steps. Like I tell my children, we're missing a lot of steps, man. You understand me? We're missing steps locally. Who we can get in his ear and say, Motherfucker, we ain't gonna vote for your ass uh, next term if you don't get some of this legislation passed from 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 police brutality to uh, you know I'm calculating stuff that y'all like to listen to uh, to you know to jobs in our neighborhood to uh, free education uh, you know whatever. You know. Whatever, whatever flows your boat. But guess what? That's who you need to be talking to to get the things that you need or want done. You have to make yourself available locally. You got to tell your local representatives what's going on with you. Because if you ain't telling them what's going on with you, guess what he going to do? He's over in banks, listening to what they want to hear. Oh, what's the, I just come in the bank so I can uh, hear what kind of legislation y'all need because I want to make sure that y'all are taken, well taken care of. And I'm going to be filling out this little equity line of credit while I'm, you know, one hand scratches nothing. <laughs> but, you know, don't tell nobody, you know, that's how they do it. Going over to the local businesses, going to the, you understand me? That's who they, that's who they politicking with. 
the money. Who gonna put some money in their they hand or put some money in their campaign, put some money in they on their books, man. But at least on a, such a small level like that, if you got a voice, see on there you don't have to have as many dollars, but you, if you have a voice, see he's touchable, he's reachable, you understand me? He's tangible. You ain't touching, reaching Donald Trump or Joe Biden, they ain't tangible. But your local representatives are tangible. They who you could talk to, who you can actually call on the phone and tell them, "Hey, man, if you ain't getting it done, man, if you ain't looking out for our community, we finna uh hop get somebody else up in there." That's where it starts, cause he's the one who goes in the state senate, in the state in the state legislation introduce bills. He's the one that goes in the federal introduce bills. And lobbies on your behalf. Know who's working for you, man. Know who's working for you. Anybody who comes to me with a Donald Trump or a Joe Biden argument, first thing I ask, who's your, who's your local representative in your community? And if they can't tell me, I already know it's some bullshit conversation right here. I already know it's some bullshit conversation. You ain't nothing but a piece of the cattle, a piece of the herd. Listen to some bullshit. You can't tell me. But I, I, then I ask, you know, just to keep it fun. What, what, what policies is he implementing? What he done? What your guy done? Tell me what he did. What he ain't did. Give me some real policy. They can't tell you. Can't tell you shit because they don't know shit. And you ask yourself, how oh, why is Donald Trump so why, why 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 they elect people that's tough on crime? Because they supposed to elect the president to be tough on crime. No president is, is elect. I'm gonna give y'all a quick, and then I'm gonna get off this live. I'm gonna get off this today. But the president's job, do y'all know what even know what the president's job is? The president has is the commander in chief. He is the head of the military. He has the power to veto and he signs legislation in office. After he goes through the legislation, he has the final signature. And he is the commander in chief. So who wants a soft or somebody who is put in place to protect our country to be soft? That is his main job. <laughs> Did y'all even know that? His main job is head of the military and is ambassador of the United States of America. So we have three branches of government. Donald Trump doesn't put, or he put, he signed, he signed the final or he makes y'all negotiate a little bit or because he, he can threaten not to sign and veto a bill if it doesn't fit his party, if it's not bipartisan, a bipartisan bill or or just uh, one side or he just don't like it at all, whatever. But his job as commander in chief is to, is head of the military. And he had the power to veto. The people who enact the law is Congress. Congress has 
the legislative branch has as much power, not almost as much, as much power as the president. And their job is to put bills, put law in place. That is their job. He just signs off on it. And then you have the judicial branch, which is the Supreme Court. They are as equal as powerful as the presidential branch, the legislative branch, the executive branch, and the judicial branch. The judicial branch is the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court's job, he had, they have one job, and that is to protect the Constitution. And anybody who violates the Constitution, if the legislative branch puts in legislation to, uh, to they, they, they violates the Constitution, they can strike that law down. That's how a lot of people sometimes get out of prison because they may have a law that violates the Constitution. But the Supreme Court only listens to constitutional law. The president has a couple other problems. He has the power to pardon. He has that power. We know that. So they give him some, some fancy, fancy, different things to do. The power to pardon. And he has a, the power to uh, basically, if they feel like it's an emergency, uh, they don't have to ask permission from Congress to enact something. The president also has that power. It's called executive orders. So the president sometimes comes and does executive orders, uh, takes stuff out of law through executive orders, implements things through executive orders. But, see, this is where it gets tricky because Congress has the power, it's called power of the purse. Power of the purse. So Congress has the right, has, regardless of what the president want to do, war, this, that, and the other, if Congress don't give them no money, like a woman got the purse, got the money in the first, if, 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 if baby don't give you no money, ain't, ain't shit you can do. So all of them have checks and balances that can, override each other. And all of them have to work with each other in some form or some capacity. Where one doesn't take completely over and it becomes a total dictatorship here in America. So we have three branches of government that are equal branches that make, where well, we have more bureaucracies, but those are the three main branches that control the United States. But what we're fussing about, what we're complaining about is the legislative branch and we don't even know it. And that starts with your local politicians. That starts with your people in your district, people in your state. We got a long road to talk before we get all the way up to, to, to the Trumps or the Bidens. And they keeping y'all blind and they know y'all blind because they want the vote. This Legacy Movie Gas Station podcast, man, I can go on and on and on about this stuff. I'm going to shut it down, man. It's late, man. I just wanted to give y'all some game, man. It's Super Tuesday. I was thinking about Super Tuesday, so I wanted to just talk about stuff on Super Tuesday that, uh, that, uh, because y'all see President Trump, y'all see President Biden, that's who's going to be, uh, battling against each other, and I want us, I mean, any, as many people as I can, uh, reach out and 
had have an ear to listen in and I have a voice to speak, you know. And, and like I say, hey amen. All of it don't matter who's up there. We're gonna be successful no matter who's in or who ain't. Because guess what? Whether you agree with them or not, they want the best for America. And they may have some selfish goals too. Who don't? Who don't? But ultimately, they want they want they want their legacy to represent greatness in that office. And they want to be able to say that they did some stuff for somebody else above and beyond themselves. Legacy Move, Gas Station Podcast, man. Oh, man, y'all make sure y'all tap in, man. Make sure y'all comment, subscribe, man. Make sure that y'all like the video. Make sure that y'all share the video. Make sure that y'all uh, get educated, man. Make sure that y'all tap in with your local. Don't be upset with nobody if you're not willing to go locally. And tune in. Don't tell me about no Trump if you don't know who your local representative is. Who represents you. Because you bitching at Trump, you bitching at Biden, and you ain't bitching at the one who actually got, it, got his hands on you. Actually can make a difference in your life immediately. Come on, man. Mm. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. Don't let all this TV and all this grand ocean bullshit fool you, man. Make legacy moves, man. Make legacy moves, man. You understand? It's all about legacy moves, man. Make legacy moves, man. Gas station podcast. Fuel the ground for the mind, the body, and the soul, man. Use your time wisely. Think about what you're doing. Spend your energy, your money, and your time in ways that will profit you and that are tangible to you right now. Ladies, move gas this possible. Make sure you get your three W's, word, wisdom, workout, and make sure you make up your bed every morning. I'm out. Hey, said it's the gas